now that we have understood uh, what connector groups and connection types are uh, let us go and configure our target connectors to our connection groups and uh, connection types so let's go to spro spro and say reference img grc and let's go to common component settings integration frameworks and then click on maintain connectors and connection types okay so what do we do in this step okay so let's read the documentation on that so in this customizing activity you define connection types which are then used while connecting to other systems okay so you're basically what you're trying what you're doing here is you're creating or you're mapping your target connectors uh, target systems to connection types okay so let's click on this and SAP gives you some uh, connection types by default okay so you cannot use your own custom connection type for S4 environment or SAP environment okay so the connection type that you need for S4 HANA connect connection or if your target system is a target connector is S4 HANA system for that system you would still need to use the SAP connection type because there is nothing for S4 HANA if you find something for S4 HANA that is basically for S4 HANA on cloud not for uh, S4 HANA on uh, and the normal S4 HANA that we know okay so you need to use the connection type uh, SAP however you can go and create your own connect uh, you know connected groups and all but the key part here is the target connectors that you have have to be mapped to the connection type SAP okay so let's go and create uh, map our uh, target systems to the connection type SAP first okay so select SAP and then click on define connectors and then you add your target connectors here okay so we have a ECC system that we want to connect to which is EH8 something EH8 okay and which was EHHC LNT 100 and like I said you need to specify the connection type as SAP okay and then in the source connector and the logical port you specify the same you know, the target connector that you have and for max background processes let's use three background processes okay now this is our ECC environment okay this is a, our ECC connector but we also have a S4 connector which was S4 CLNT 100 okay now even though this is an S4 system the connection type you need to use is SAP okay copy the target connector and use that under source connector as well as logical port click on save and now click on save okay now you can create your own request you know uh, if there is if you need to create one but uh, we are going to use an existing one that i already created okay so do that and then let's go and create a connector group okay now you can create a connector group okay your custom connector group and include your own your target connectors into this group so let's do that okay so let us add the connect our connectors to at least you know all these three uh, you know connector groups we have four here so let's add uh, so let's add to this 4 lg connector group first okay so select 
as s4 alg connector group which is for s4 hana and but this one has to be connection type sap again okay it cannot be s4 hana okay then you go to connector group and you pick logical group and say connector assign connector okay and in this now again assign target connectors what you have now because you already mapped your uh, target connector to connection type sap it should auto it will automatically come here okay click on save all right now we have added the card connector to the connector group SAP SA for LG, which is okay. Oh, we should not have done that. Okay, so let's go to target uh, defined connector groups again, and let us add this to our custom connector group that we created, right? So we can create a custom connector group like this: new entries, then you give the connector group, then the text and connection type as SAP. Okay. That's what we did here in this case. Now you can go and assign the logical group. If it is not there, you can click on new entries and click logical group. And then select the logical group and click on assign connects to connectors to connector group. Okay. Now let us add our connectors to this. Now remember, we are getting SAP automatically here because because we mapped our connectors to this connect SAP connection type in the first step that we did in this. Okay, now let's go back, save it, put it in a transport request that you had created. Okay, now let's put this in SAP R three this one also. Okay, this group also. So same steps you select the connector group ensure that this is sap connection type is sap again and then you click on this ensure there is a logical group here if there is not then you click on new entries and add it okay then you select that logical group and add your connector here again okay so i have we have one for ecc and we have one for s4 hana system okay Let's do this. All right. So that's that's done. So let's use these three connectors, okay? Uh, connector groups. Let's go back, save it. Again, you cannot use a custom connector group, okay? Custom connection type, okay? You have to use SAP. Uh, even for S4 HANA system, you have to use the connection type SAP, okay? So now what we have done here in this step is we basically mapped our target connectors to the connection type SAP, okay? But we also put it, put those connectors, the types, uh, target connectors into connector groups also, okay? But the main, the key step is tar mapping the target connectors to the connection type SAP here. Okay, all right. So the next step we have to maintain uh, connection settings. So let's see that. 